Utah Capital Journal 2012, brought to you by Comcast and the Utah Cable Television Association. Comcast Cares Day was a huge success. Comcast would like to thank the more than 3,100 employees, families, and community volunteers who gave of their time to enhance 11 elementary schools, city parks, and other organizations across the Wasatch Front to help kids and community members power their dreams. With your support, we made a lasting difference for thousands of students and community members in need. Thank you, and special thanks to our partner, KFC, for providing lunch. Comcast Cares. Hello, I'm Dale Zabriskie. Welcome to Capital Journal, appearing 24 minutes after each hour on CNN Headline News and on Comcast On Demand throughout the legislative session. Our guest for this segment is Representative Susan Duckworth. Representative Duckworth, thank you for being with us. You'd like to talk about constituents contacting their legislators. Tell us what you'd like us to hear. Thank you, Dale. That's correct. I think it's extremely important that our constituents and our voters get to know their legislator and talk to them when they have ideas or concerns about legislation, new legislation or legislation that's being considered. Um, the only way I can do my job properly is if my voters, my constituents and my neighbors call me on the phone or talk to me at the grocery store. I don't know what their thoughts or ideas are, and so when I come up here to vote, the only thing I know is what my conscience is. Mm -hmm. And so when I get those phone calls or emails or letters in the mail, it helps me better do my job as a legislator. So I just feel that's vitally important. Now, there are many ways in which they can contact you. Uh, they can contact you, like you say, by phone. They can mail you. Uh, email is also available, is it not? That's correct. And our email with the state has been changed. We have a new email address, and I understand that that will be posted, but I'll tell you what that email address is. Okay. It's sduckworth at le.utah.gov. And if they... They could call the state House of Representatives and they would tell them your email or any other legislator's email address. That's correct. And another thing, if I'm not your legislator and you happen to see me or you happen to know me, I'm always open to listen and see what I can do to help. So uh, they can also come and visit you during the session. And uh, there's a process where they can uh, let you know that they're outside wanting to talk to you about a bill or something. Those are my favorite kind of contacts. I love it when someone calls me on the phone and wants to meet. They're welcome to come to my home. It's always open to anyone who wants to talk. Or we can meet and have lunch or just like I say, even in the grocery store is a perfect place to have a little conversation. During these interviews we've been doing for many years, we often hear a legislator say, I've introduced this bill because of constituent contact. Have you had that experience? I actually have. Last year we ran a bill on um, employee, employee rela employer related child identity theft. And mm. it passed the House, passed the Senate, and it was signed into law by the governor. And what that bill does, it it helps protect the children of identity theft. There is actually going to, we're, we're working on some new legislation to try and protect those children that are the victims of employer related identity theft. And that idea came from a constituent? It did. And, and then, so then the next process was for you to get it drafted and, and, and run it? We worked hard with um, the Attorney General's office and with the constituent and with other members of the community to be able to get that legislation passed. So that's a perfect example of what you're talking about. It is. Uh, constituent contacts you, you, you agree, you run a bill, it gets passed and uh, the problem starts to be solved. That's correct. So in conclusion, what I can say is talk to your legislator, get to know them, be their friend. Thank you for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for being with us. Join us again for Capital Journal.